or it feels like your manifestation isn't coming at all okay it's impeccable this re scorpio i don't know what you did but keep doing it i just have to be honest some of you are going to become famous overnight or something it's almost an energy of they are scared for their life and they want you to come in and save the day but quantum jump in the timeline because the world card is here you're definitely crossing paths with an aries this month a young aries that this individual is drinking because they're nervous Hello Scorpio, how are you? Welcome back to the channel, Starseed Zayat here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is your general read for June 2024. It's a general read, take what resonates, leave what doesn't behind. Cross watchers are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in a late train link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guide us in this read for my Scorpios. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So, Scorpio. I heard the name Trish. I heard the name Trish. We have Sagittarius upside down, Wheel of Fortune and Temperance in reverse, Jupiter retrograde. Here we have the Star card in reverse, Uranus retrograde, Aquarius. Then we have number one, Magician, Gemini, Mercury in transit was at the bottom. Number one, Magician. So you're manifesting by justice. You're manifesting your highest timeline, but it's taking some difficulty. Ten of Swords. Some of you could... Add, so I'm looking at the energy of June, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna look at predictions and love. Also money, if any of that comes up, but... Scorpio... Like, you're manifesting this month, but it's almost an energy of your manifestation isn't coming fast enough. Or it feels like your manifestation isn't coming at all. Like, some of you could be in that energy this month, wondering, like, when it's going to come and when is everything going to be brought into balance with your manifestation, okay? The magician here. I feel like this month is really heavy for you guys when it comes to manifesting. But I do see as someone here that is trying to manifest you. This could be a Gemini, this could be a Scorpio like yourself. Or this could be a Scorpio and you could be a crosswasher. This is a uh, this could be a Scorpio that you've been dealing with, some of you. It could be a Libra for others, an Aquarius or a Sag. Gemini is also there. But someone here, the month of June, is gonna try their hardest to manifest you. I do see someone here stalking you, but it's not anybody new. It's someone that was cold. Queen of Cups, look, look at this. Two of Cups and the Five of Cups. It's this Queen of Cups energy. He, she, they. This Queen of Cups is in love with you. Or it's this King of Cups, either or. Somebody here is about to come in and beg. Beg for, like, your forgiveness. Someone's about to be on their knees begging. Is what I'm really getting. Begging that you give them a second shot. I heard it's too late for the other side. Caught in a chase. 25 to life. Is, th is that the lyrics? Or is it 21 to life? Because I also heard One Republic. Like it's too late to apologize. But I also heard it's too late from the other side. Caught in a chase. 21 to life. Or... Was that the lyrics? Some, somebody... That's an old song, though. Ace of Cups in Reverse. Well, not old. But, you know. If you were born in the 90s, that song is... Right. But, anyhow. Ace of Cups in Reverse. Ace of Swords Judgment. World and Page of Pentacles. Cycle is complete. Four of Swords. Okay, so the month of June is one where you experience profound change. Honestly, it feels like, okay, it feels like a quantum leap for a lot of you. A quantum jump in the timeline because the world card is here. 
Okay, you're completing a cycle energetically and you're ready for the next level and the angels are preparing you for this with the judgment card and the ace of swords. Okay, you're being prepared for the next level here, Scorpio. You're ready. You're ready for this. You've been ready. This has been a long time coming. Everything that has happened in your life is preparing you for this moment. However, I do see here someone is really uh, pulling on your energy hard this month. Really uh, almost an energy of wanting to slow you down so that they can catch up to you. And I do get here that even though they're apologizing and they're begging for your forgiveness, they're not giving you an actual love offer. Okay, I have to be honest. Ace of Cups in Reverse, that's not a love offer that's coming from this person. What I'm seeing here is that someone has gotten caught up with uh, law enforcement, justice, and I do see that it's almost an energy of they are scared for their life and they want you to come in and save the day, but... I almost get an energy, Scorpio, that you don't have anything to do with this. Honestly, I really get D-R-U-G-S. That's what I'm getting. It's D-R-U-G-S. Like someone has gotten caught up, and now they're awaiting trial, or there already was a trial, and they're trying to come to a verdict. Okay, but someone here um, that... Like, you could have thought this person was your twin flame, or this person actually is your twin flame. Um, but they're on their way to some type of program, some type of center, where they're going to be in there for a few year, a few years. I heard at least a year. There's something here about bail. There's also something about parole, but I'm not too sure. I feel like some of you just, you know, I have to be honest, I feel like some of you just don't care at this point. I don't know, like, the story is so played out, the Fool and the Eight of Wands. You're definitely adventuring. I see a lot of you taking hikes, going out into nature. Look, Scorpio, that, that sexy side, that wild side of Scorpio is going to be coming out this month. Like, some of you may be going to, like, take hikes to, like, a hot spring or something, but it's like a nudist type thing like where you're bearing it all which is you see i love i freaking love scorpio like i just have to be honest i freaking love scorpios because y'all are very mysterious y'all be mysterious y'all not afraid to you know be in that full energy like go over the edge or see where your limits really are and then once you reach your limits push past those limits like it's just a very refreshing energy you know for a leo like me that water energy is refreshing it's like just that wildness that that connection to the more feminine energy naturally whether you're a man or a woman it's like you guys are more tied into the feminine even though you have strong ties to such a masculine energy pluto and mars but it's something here about you like some of you could be going to like some type of hippie community or some type of like i don't know some of you are going to be like or, or maybe you're going to the nudist beach or something i don't know scorpio or you could just be like nude in the jungle or deep in the forest just hanging out and meditating or something i don't i literally don't know that's for some of you that's not going to be for everybody yeah the moon there could also be some like full moon ritual full moon manifestation like you're really spiritual this month you're getting heavy into manifestation the law of attraction the moon and death wow there's a strong energy here of santa uh, santa muerte saint death strong energy of her here you could be doing the dance of death this month, like dancing with death, taking risks that you know you shouldn't be, okay, I have to be honest, but it's almost this energy of like getting out of your comfort zone, really living, really living on the edge, Lady Gaga, on the edge, Six of Wands, Ace of Wands, and because you're on the edge, it's like you're rewarded, or you're you're successful you're taking risk this month you're taking risk after risk after risk and the dev moon full and eight of wands is reckless 
Okay, I'm gonna be honest, you are taking reckless risks this month, but you're... You must be protected by an angel because the Eight of Swords is like... Nothing is, is passing you by with the Six of Wands and the Eight of Wands. And that's why someone wants to come back and beg. Because they want to hold you down at their level. Or they want you to stay in that same energy. So it's a rejection. Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. A firm rejection is coming up this month for a lot of you. And you're going to move forward. Some of you are going to be... Some of you are a musician. You're a singer. You're going to be a dancer, a performer. I get you being in the arts. Yes, having an audience. Empress, Seven of Cups. This is a really... This is really powerful. The devil. Holy crap. Damn, Scorpio. Y'all... Y'all... You're just bringing life. But you're not afraid to tap into your dark side, okay? You're not afraid. That's why I was getting something like... I don't know, like, something about y'all being out in the woods naked or something. I don't know. Or going to a new beat. I, I don't even know. But the devil and the hierophant... This is definitely an energy of you being wildly successful. Okay, very, very successful at your craft. Having very... You have good luck when it comes to money this month. Very, very good luck. But it's time back to your manifestation, your rituals, what you're doing here. It's like you're able to pick up all the pieces and move forward in a new passionate way. But the tower is here. You're definitely crossing paths with an Aries this month. A young Aries. Um, but I feel like this young Aries, you know, I have to be honest. For some of you, it's a young Aries. For others, it's a young Scorpio. But it's like this individual is very bold, very erratic. This individual is someone that they could be showing you that you need to take risks. Like there's someone that lives sort of on the extreme. And it, it's almost like sometimes people come into our lives to show us where we what we need to work on or to show us if we need to change something. So you could have been more like relaxed or very uh you know keeping to yourself like just doing your thing but it's an energy here of you being out in the public eye you really using your voice six of wands this read is very spiritual this read is spiritual for you guys it's not very prediction based it's more so spiritual based it's more so about the energy that you're moving into which is one where you are the leader right and i said it before and i said it again us fixed signs even though we can be stubborn, even though we can be fixed on certain things, we bring massive changes. We bring some of the biggest changes that the collective will see or experience. And so it's this energy here, Scorpio, if you really, you're coming with an energy and it's new, it's hot, everybody's looking at you. you're like a whole snack whoever you are yeah you're you're about to be look animal shaman and fireman you see this is who you're about to meet a very spiritual young person that is wild that's not afraid to turn up the heat to take a little bit of a risk they could be a fireman or a firewoman they could very well be they could also be native american or, or um they the sound from a tribe or they could even live on a reservation um but yeah, this individual that's coming into your life is very spiritual in nature. And it's like overnight thing with the moon and the death. Like they show up overnight. Like one day you just meet this person and your life changes forever. Soldier. So they have served in the military. This individual. This individual is a veteran. For some of you, they continue to serve in the military. But they're very spiritual. They know a lot about the spiritual and metaphysical universe. But this person also went through, you know, their, their uh, you could say, karmic timeline. So some of you, this individual was, I don't, I don't get like an actual gang, but they could have been dealing, you know, just doing things that, um, to make a living, to make money. They could have grew up in that, okay? But this is who you're going to meet. And it's like, they're going to be a stranger to you. You don't know this person that's coming your way. I see this month very much you just going all in. Going all in. Empress Eight of Wands, yeah. Eight of Wands over the Eight of Wands. After June 8th, the power 
that you're going to receive from that planetary alignment occurring on June 4th, okay? It's high charged energy. The energy is already high because of the solar flares, but and the eclipses that have previously occurred. However, that planetary alignment, that's going to be like the, you know, that really kicks off this momentum, this powerhouse of energy that's going to just propel you forward in all things that you do in life. Honestly, Scorpio, there are going to be people in your life that are going to look at you and they're going to question if you're actually human or if you're AI, if you're some type of robot, because it's like you have all this energy. You have all this energy. You're getting everything done. It's like you're going to be the top performer at work, okay? Or you're, or the top performer on your channel. Like you're going to be dominating the YouTube uh, sphere or the TikTok sphere or the Snapchat even or Twitter, okay? Some of you, those of you that are online, okay? Some of you are going to get into the TikTok program, the Instagram program, and you're going to start making money. You're going to start getting paid through that, okay? For others, it's an energy here of if you're in the medical field, you're about to move uh, into a different department and you're going to be making a lot more. Or there are those of you that are going to apply somewhere else to a company that pays like 20, 30K more and you're just applying like, you know, like, oh, I'm just going to apply to that, but I don't think they're going to call me at all. But they actually call you up and they want to move forward with you and you're going to get that offer. You're going to begin that new career making that that higher income right like you're going to be living very very good here hangman and the magician and it's all because of your manifestation it's all because of your manifestation you're manifesting it you're manifesting this timeline jump this is the month where you can manifest very very strongly so absolutely do it yes queen of pentacles and the world you've entered into a new cycle the world okay the world with the queen of pentacles this is the cycle where you receive everything that you rightfully deserve in this material realm, okay? Material gifts, blessings. And this is also going to allow you to share with others, those that are less fortunate, okay? Those that you are wishing to assist. Here we have the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, and that's why somebody is, it comes back full circle. That's why somebody now wants to show up. They want to come in. They want to beg for your forgiveness because they want to be in that Qu Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles, Devil in the Hierophant, right? Devil in the Hierophant, material success, structure, stability, a structure foundation devil in the higher fence some of you are buying your first home there are those of you that are going to purchase your first home or you're gonna you're going to be working with a real estate agent and they're going to get you in they're going to get you in that you know you might pay quite a bit with that five of pentacles there but it does show here some of you getting a home getting an apartment for the first time two of cups and judgment and that's why someone's making the decision to beg for forgiveness okay to beg you to show the mercy to spare them because you have the the bag you know some of you are becoming famous okay i just have to be honest i just have to be honest some of you are going to become famous overnight or something and you need to be ready for that you need to be ready because fame you know fame fame can be all fine and dandy but you lose a lot of your privacy just saying you lose so much of your privacy like it's very hard to just do like regular things like going to the convenience store and getting something without somebody recognizing you even on youtube people right people will recognize you or they'll point you out or they'll tell people you know and with that fame also comes judgments because people, when they see you in person, right, you're an online personality or you're on the TV, but they see you in person, a lot of stuff comes up in their mind, right? So if somebody sees me in public, the first thing they're going to say is, damn, he's a lot shorter than I thought. That's the first thing they're going to say. <laughs> but that comes with the territory. That comes with, right, some of you being famous some of you are going to be a star especially with the devil in the higher fan mm. wheel of fortune in reverse to start in reverse someone someone thought that they would be better off on a different timeline and now they're realizing that's not gonna work they're realizing you got it and they're over here stressing because they they chose a, a third party Whatever, whatever that situation was, whoever the third party was, he, she, they, you know, if that was a Jezebel or if that was a warlock. And now look, death, that's over. 
These people both have to go to court. That's been coming up in all the reads. These karmics now having to go to court because they didn't get the memo. You know, time and time, Spirit God was being so merciful, telling these people, okay, you know, the karma contracts long expire, time for you to move on. But they were still out here really wanting to dance with the devil. So now the the ish hit the fan and now somebody wants to come and, and, and beg for forgiveness, basically. Because they're about to be sealed away somewhere. But they want you to stay put and wait for them and write them letters while they're in jail or something. And you put your life on hold and not pursue your destiny and your purpose. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse, star in reverse. They, they want you to stay stuck on their karmic timeline with them. 3D Earth, 5D Earth. Separating. Quantum uh, leap. That's what this is. You're making the quantum leap. You're making the quantum jump. So, of course, they're going to come in right now. How convenient. They're going to come in right now begging for forgiveness. Wanting your mercy. When this is, what's, if this is where you're headed. And they're headed elsewhere. Break up an ex-lover, yup. It's over with them, and spiritual awakening. You see, they realize now you're the real deal. They got with a third party because they thought that's where the money was, but now they're realizing that their secret crush, the secret crush that they always had on you, right? They're realizing you're the one that's always had it. You're the one that has always had the abundance divine intervention and date there's a card here healing so yeah now they want to heal things because their greatest fears have come true and you're about to be moving on to the highest timeline possible and this is where they're about to be at regret and drinking okay player that this individual's drinking because they're nervous they're nervous they know what's about to come in. What what can they do to stop you when they're locked away in a psych ward, you know, or in jail or in prison even? Like, what is this twin flame or false twin flame or even karmic soulmate or this twin flame turn karmic? Like, what can they do? They're not going to be able to do their manifestation magic unless they're able to get some privacy and, you know, self-pleasure and send that SES magic your way. But even still, like... Energy is difficult to penetrate through those prison walls, those jail walls. Because there's already a grid-like energy in, in those places. Because you know that's a place where you're locked up. You, you don't have freedom, and then you project that out as well. So it's like the energy is reflecting that. So it's like the energy gets stuck in those places, and it kind of rots. It kind of becomes stagnant. That's why those people, when they finally get out of jail or, or the asylum or whatever, it's like they sort of look like death when they get out. But then once they get back into life and and are healing, it's like they really do a glow up because the energy is now flowing. But anyhow, you're about to be somewhere on an island like... They're realizing they're the biggest... The biggest clown of them all. Business, yep. Scorpio, you're going to have so many offers when it comes to business, when it comes to love. Like, you're not even going to know what to do. You're not even going to know what to do. You don't know what, what, what direction to take, where to go. You definitely, you see how he's, like, writing on that piece of paper. Definitely have a notepad, okay? Or have some type of journal so that you can sort of brainstorm your ideas, sort of break down everything that's going on, have a pros and cons list as well. Yeah, if not, you're going to find yourself burnt out. If not, you could find yourself burnt out. Also, it says here, lack of control, especially when it comes to your love life. You see a lot of people looking at you like a whole snack, Scorpio. I kept saying it in these reads. I kept saying it. I was saying it for months. I try to warn people. I try to warn people, you know. Oh, well, the message gets repetitive. But you see, sometimes we have to repeat the same thing so that we mentally prepare 
so that we are prepared for when these changes come because if not this is how we end up overwhelmed in disbelief and then we're scrambling you know to find that tarot read from a year ago that accurately pr predicted or described the the situation that we're now dealing with right we're trying to grow go right away through the playlist that we have of those saved tarot reads leadership or those channel messages even leadership and snake yep that that's you scorpio is also symbolized by the snake this is where you're at this is where you're about to be at very good very very good read this is an excellent this read is suburb okay it's impeccable this read scorpio i don't know what you did but keep doing it because this is impeccable chef's kiss literally five star yes that's how good this read is that's how good the energy is yep and here we go the hidden this player you know man or woman you know like whoever this was that you knew they loved you and and some of you could have even had a baby with this person or or like that was the plan the divine had emotion now they're over here in this mountain and the mountain obstacle and challenges and they may even propose to you out of desperation but look coldness they still have a cold heart so why accept a love offer from this person that's your read that's what i have for you i hope you enjoyed this i wish you the best of luck and i wish you love and light take care